Welcome back to episode 2 of Sweet Feet, presented by Sip the Tally Films. In today's episode, we will focus on Amari Cooper and his 2018 season, which was split between the Oakland Raiders and the Fighting Jerry Joneses, aka the Dallas Cowboys. A little background on Amari in 2018. He started in Oakland, and John Gruden had a garage sale on all his players, which included uh, Von Miller and Amari also. Uh, he played the first six games in Oakland. He had 22 catches for 280 yards. He played the last nine games in Dallas. had 53 catches for 725 yards. So, Sweet Feet Episode 2. Let's go. All right, here we go. First route. We got a whip route. He's at the top of your screen up here, uh, spotlight shadow, and just on this whip route, we're just gonna let it play, then I'm gonna bag it up. Mm. Now, let's see what we got into it. Whip route simply means out and up. You're gonna sell it as a slant or a shallow cross, stick your foot in the ground and come back across. All right, so, guys trying to press him. I think this is Malcolm Butler, I think. Malcolm is always over, over aggressive, as you can tell by you know what he did in Super Bowl that year. Tries to press and, and does a good job of jamming, but Amari gets inside and makes it look like a slant. Malcolm tries to overcompensate. Look, look right here. Look how he stick his foot in the ground. Now, if if you watched episode one, what you'll see on this film different is Amari does a better job than Odell Beckham at stopping and starting. He gonna plant, he gonna sink these hips, plant the feet in the ground. And just turn him around. Look at that. He's already going back out. Swimmed him. It was so quick you probably missed it. And going back out. Turned him all the way around. Extends the ball for a touchdown. Being able to start and stop in the NFL is a... I ain't going to say it's an overrated trait, but it's something a lot can't do. A lot of guys can't do it. Only the elite can do it. All right, second play. Got an over route coming. He's uh, highlighted right here. Um, let me run through it. This simple stuff that you probably wouldn't see on the um, the broadcast view. End up being a good route. Let's see how he got so open though. Bag it up. Right, obviously he's running the over route, trying to get to this area of the field. They're gonna fake a little roll out, and he's gonna come over here, you know, buck naked as they say. So he widens the, the DB out. He got him already off balance already. Just in this clip right here, you can tell this guy's off balance. I right, guess look at it. Turned him all the way around already. Now, what he's going to do now is he's going to press him or stack him back out here so he can have all this room over here to work with. Simply with that good release. Simply with this footwork right here. That one jab step out there, got him off balance, and going the other way. Now, this guy has to speed turn, which this isn't a technique that's really taught in the NFL. But he's so far off balance that he doesn't have anything else to do because he thought fade. And remember, uh, in the first episode, we talked about Jerry Wright saying everything needs to be a fade until it ain't. So this looks like a go. Got him outside. Now turn him back inside. Now get on top of him. Now run away from the safety. Run away from the free safety. This part of the route has nothing to do with sweet feet. Just been able to run away from guys. You know, and this isn't a normal practice where you throw back across your body. That, you know, happened to be wide open and gave him a good ball. So that release, that 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 release off the line and made him turn the guy around is what made that route possible. Comeback route. A little stutter, explode, sink his hips. Again, little subtleties in the route make it look like a goat. Come off, stutter, just to get level with him. Now Richard Sherman thinks he's going to go route. Richard Sherman's at full speed, full run, because you know Richard's not the fastest guy. So he's like, oh shit, I gotta get deep. One, two. Maybe even three, four. He said, and watch his hips. His hips, I don't know if you can see it. Watch his pad level go down. One, two, three. And look at that space he set. Look at the space he created. They're even. Now it's three second gap. I'm sorry, a three yard gap. All because his ability to, to be full speed, sink his hips and stop. This is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, 
make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. Around the corner wrap. Now, I call this a corner, but you know, league people that play in the league may call it something else. I think some call it shake. But I'll give it my guy that, that played a couple years in the league and see what he calls it, and I'll have it for you next time. But he did the same thing Odell did. He's going in, up, and out. It's just going to end up like a corner to me. Good job hanging on to it. Now, snap the ball. Going in. Now just get on top of that, that safety. I really cut this short. Really cut this short. I thought he did something a little different on this at that break right there, but he did. He just cut it short. So this this is not necessarily a sweet feed, but him just knowing the route and seeing how deep the safety is and cutting it short. And a good job of Dak by getting rid of it. So this is just football IQ right here. This cut probably shouldn't be in there, but it is. So, hey, deal with it. Next one is a slant. Now we get into um, Amara Cooper's bag right here. These slant routes. I think he's best at this and... We'll, you know, I think the next three routes may be some some version of slant. So so let's go right here. Widen him out, stick. Explode for the touchdown. I think this was in the playoff game too. It was in the playoff game against the Rams. So he's in the slot right here. And he got a slant. So this guy bags off. And what he's gonna do here is with one hard jab step. And without slowing down, he's going to make this guy open up here so he can come back across his face. Close the distance, close the distance. Widen him out, run the outside shoulder, stick. Look, look. number 20, his body is facing the sideline. So there's no way he can cover this slant right now. No way. And look how low Mario is to the ground. Knees over his toes. and Just perfect position to come back the other way. And all that. Again, turn the guy around. Again, no DB coach in the league wants to see this, but turn this guy around and look at the result. Touchdown. You can do that when you can change directions without slowing down. All right, now, the counter to a slant. Guys want to get all, you know, play inside and jump your slant routes and try to reach quarterback's drop. Here it is. But you got to better run the slant first. Ooh. Now, for, coming from a guy that, that that coach receivers and and love the game of football and love receiver play, that right there make you. Well, I can't say that, but <laughs> you football guys know you, you get the drift. Let's see what he did. Now, this guy's playing inside leverage. He's closer to the numbers than Amari, so that's why I know he's playing inside leverage. And he's trying to read the QB. So if the QB doesn't drop back, he's gonna try to drop this slant, jump this slant because we know Amari's good at running slants. Now he looks, sees a cut, sees the quarterback getting ready to throw. I'm going to jump it. Mm. Watch how good Amari sell it. Sink his hips. Gets one, two, three yards into the slant. Then keeps it going. That's the good part about it. A lot of young guys will come here and take that one step, then go. And the DB will stay on top of it. But he actually runs into the slant, sticks it, and go. No, no. Uh, David Carr dropped in as best he could with a safety over the top. So, I mean, everybody can't do this. And you got to be able to run slants, but in order to sell uh, sluggos. So, Amari's, um, in my opinion, Amari's best route is a, is a slant. And again, we have him here on the slant again at the bottom of your screen. Against the Redskins. Let it play through. Mm. Now, this guy was on the ground. So let's 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 think about this for a second. We got one clip where he turns the DB around, uh, second clip where he turns the DB around, and on this third clip, this guy's on the ground. Hey, proof's in the pudding. Let's go back and see what happens. Again, at the bottom of your screen, sells it like a fade. DB like, oh crap, I gotta get on top of it. Gotta get on top of it. Now, sits down, got him turned all the way around. Got to open him all the way up. Good job with this bar. This has nothing to do with his feet, but watch his hand right here. This guy tries to hold him. He's going to chop that hand down and go straight up to straight up the field. Boop. Get the hand out of the way. I come flat. This guy is so off balance. 
because of the outside move to swim up and under and the chop that his equilibrium is all discombobulated bam now right now all i got to do is sprint sprint to the end zone sprint to the end zone because of my good route running and that's it and the bad thing about this this wasn't even a good ball honestly this was not a good ball he had to kind of stop for this ball this ball needs to be right about here so he can keep it in stride and with that being said still touchdown because he's good route running and again if you don't know why uh, Dallas easily gave up a, a, a first round pick for this guy there's no receiving a league uh, uh, no first round pick in the league that was going to produce like this so there was a win for the Cowboys in my opinion and again you see why Amara Cooper is a part of Sweet Feet episode 2 this is Coach Evans make sure you like comment and subscribe uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you come in because I get back to you almost as soon as you do it if I'm not busy. In the meantime, in the between time, it's Coach Evan Sipper Taylor. We out.